you know, Coach K is infamous for working the refs. You know, Coach K, he's talking to the refs. Hey, what's he saying to him? I have no clue. What's he do? What's his what's his what's what's his tactic? I think just does he just like help. does he does he try to mentor him like you guys are great young men? Oh no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you if you are courtside and hear Coach K talk to refs, you you would blush. Right? Oh, any Coach any K, quotes you no. remember? Well, enough, you know. You know, he would never degrade referees, but, you know, he would definitely call them motherfuckers. I mean, like, you know, mother- motherfucker was like, like, it was like saying, like, he or she, like, he just always cussed. And uh, he was on them from the jump. And so, I, you know, I think after a while, refs just were like, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with Coach K anymore. So, like, I, I'm not going to call these, these crap fouls on <laughs> Duke anymore. You know, but the funny thing about, like, playing at Duke, he's like, look, uh, referees, um, they always award the more aggressive team. And if that's just your style of play, after a while, they're just going to be socialized to to let aggressive teams sort of get the benefit of the doubt. Now, if you're passive and you're begging for calls all the time, the rest, you know, they're human. They're not going not gonna to reward you. Um, so our, our mindset was always just be the aggressor, keep the pressure on other team, and, you know, make make them make plays and make the rest make calls. And uh, it, was, it was a really good formula for us. So, you know, you go into halftime, it's 35-33. Anything that Coach K said in the locker room to get you hyped? Or were, were, did he, was there nothing that really needed to be said? What kind of guy was he? Was he like a tact? Like, was he, because Belichick, he was more of, he never rah rah you. He was more yeah. of like, we're going to give you information when what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and then you guys go use that information. It was more like yeah. business. It was, what was Coach K's way of, of handling the guys in the locker room was he a guy that got rah rah or did you did he have like a player that was the rah rah guy and he would use like good cop back like what was the yeah it varied again like he knew the situation and there are some games where you know we're up five we should be up 12 at the half and he comes in and just rips us a new one and just you know spitting and cursing and throwing chairs and we go out and you know mid by 20 and there are other games where we come in very calm and say look just you know, we're missing shots. We're turning the ball over. Like, let's 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 just play our game. And so, um, that game, two thousand one, uh, he's pretty calm. Actually, he's like, look, we have not played our best game. You know, this is a very good team. Respect them. Uh, but uh, you know, we don't have to do anything different than what Duke does. But we have to be the best version of ourselves for twenty minutes. And so, like, he he had a way of just giving us confidence. Um, and the way he talked to us, we never had to like do something outside of like what we did the entire year or, or who we were as a team. Um, it was a really, really interesting, unique skill that I respect. It's crazy how like great leaders are. Cause that, you know, that's, he, he, when you guys were flying high, he'd cut you down. When you guys were down low, he would, he would, you know, fuel you guys. And I always remembered that with Belichick the same way. Like we went out and blew out the Tennessee Titans by 35 in a snowstorm one time. And we get into the team meeting on on Monday and he throws on these low lights and he goes, you mean to, like we miss a fucking wide route or something like an easy routine play. We just blew this team out by 35 points and he's motherfucking <laughs> me and Brady for not connecting on a garbage time fucking play like because we were flying high we were feeling it you know what i mean then there's another time where we lose a game and we just didn't have a good week and he would come in and he knew where our spirits were that's the that's how you know there's a good leader they know where the spirits are and he you know we're all expecting like oh he's gonna fucking murder us for this and he didn't you know he handled it differently because we needed that love we needed that you know we needed that confidence we were not yep. we weren't confident at the time so that's that's awesome yeah. to hear you know that's yeah and that's what coach k sounds that's, like he is man he's that's that's leadership leader of men you know and he is yes we never felt we could fail ever you know and so i don't know if that's like military mindset or whatever but we always felt we did our job didn't matter who we played yeah we, we, we had a great shot of winning 